Well, hey kids, this is Jeff, and we've I have missed you over the last couple weeks here in pre-K, but we've been getting ready because we wanted to get set up to invite you into our preschool room. And we're gonna be doing that actually by recording what we do on Sunday morning with the kids. But I'm today without the kids. I'm here in order to be with you. And I'm so happy that I get to be with you today. It's so exciting when we get to do that. Now, I want to share with you our big idea for the day. And this one's really exciting. Our today's true Bible story is gonna teach us that Jesus says, follow me. That's it, that's a short, big idea, and everyone can learn this. Let's all say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus says, follow me. That's true, Jesus wants me to follow him, he wants your mommies and daddies to follow him, and he wants you to follow him too. And I've got a Bible verse to share with you. It's a short, easy Bible verse, and it's gonna help us remember that Jesus says to follow him. We see it in the Bible, in the very first book of the New Testament. It's a book written by Jesus' friend, Matthew. And in it, Matthew writes down something that Jesus says. Jesus says, come, follow me, Jesus said. That's in Matthew 4.19. Come, follow me, Jesus said. Matthew 4.19. Let's say it together one more time. Come, Follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Wow, that really helps us remember that Jesus said to follow him, doesn't it? All right, well, I want to introduce someone to you today, and that is this person right here. This is Kenzie the kangaroo, and she looks sad. See, Kenji has been sticking our Bible pictures in her pouch. But Kenzie loves to hop. Can you hop like a kangaroo? And when Kenzie hops, well, the Bible pictures, they all spill out over the floor. So today, I need your help hopping to go and pick them up. Now, in order to do that, we're going to hold our binoculars. We're going to find the picture, and we're going to hop to it. Now, does that sound good? All right, now, in order to do that, we gotta tell our Bible story, but to tell our Bible story, we need to get our Bible out. And to get our Bible out, we need to say the special Bible words. It's true, it's true, the Bible, it's true. Say it with me. It's true, it's true, the Bible, it's true. And I've got my Bible oh, right over here. I've always got my Bible with me. It's got my special red bookmark, and oh, this looks like an amazing story and I want to tell it to you today. All right, so let's start by getting our binoculars out. Let's look for the picture that's next to the red square. Oh, the blue square is next to the blue square. Let's go over there. Hop with me and hop back. All right, this is a walking stick. And it's a part of our story. Because in our story, there were a couple of friends of Jesus. Luke writes this down. There were a couple of friends of Jesus. They were walking and they were talking. And suddenly Jesus appeared next to them, but they didn't know it was Jesus that was next to them. And Jesus asked them, hey guys, what are you talking about? Now let's get our binoculars out and let's find our next Bible story picture. It's right next to me on the green square. Hop, 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 hop. And it's a cross. The men told Jesus, well, haven't you heard? Jesus was killed on a cross. And then early this morning, some women from our group, they went to the tomb to go and find him. But the tomb was empty and an angel was there. And it told him that Jesus had died, but now he's alive. And that was really strange, exciting, weird news for these two guys. And they didn't know what to think about it. All right, we need our next uh, picture. And it's right next to me on the yellow square. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop. It's a loaf of bread. All right, so 
in, uh, in our Bible story, they all stop on their journey and they said, let's eat dinner together. And Jesus took bread. It probably wasn't bread like this in a plastic package, but he took bread and he broke it and he thanked God for it. And right, and then he gave them some, and right then they could see that it was Jesus that they were eating with. It was Jesus. He was alive. Oh, on the count of three, let's yell hooray. One, two, three, hooray. Yeah. All right. And oh, we have another picture to go get. It's, it's on the red one. It's right over there. Let's go get it. Hop, hop, hop. This one's just a white sheet. I'll tell you what this is in a second. Now, later, Jesus appeared again to his disciples. They were all in a locked room, and Jesus just appeared in front of them. And they said, oh, it's a ghost! Could you see like a white sheet like this on a ghost? This would have to be a really small ghost to be on there. But it's a ghost, and Jesus said, I'm not a ghost. And he showed them where his hands had been hurt by being nailed to the cross. And he showed them where someone had put a spear in his side. Oh, that's scary. But it's so exciting that Jesus is alive now. We've got one more story, or picture to find. It's not a picture at all. It's right behind me. It's right here. It is this balloon. So, another time, Jesus walked with his disciples to a field. And suddenly, he began to raise up into the sky. He went up and up and up and up. But he was outside, so the ceiling didn't stop him. He just kept going up and up and up. He went back to go live with his Father in heaven. And he promised his disciples that they would get to go and live with him one day too if they continued to follow him and do the things he told them to do, to show love to God and to show love to others. Oh, Kenzie, I've got to tell you, Kenzie loved that we could find all the Bible story pictures, and now Kenzie is happy. How did Kenzie fit this balloon in her pouch? It's just crazy. All right, well, in our true Bible story for today, the disciples watched as Jesus went whoop back up into heaven. The disciples were so amazed that they praised Jesus. So we should praise Jesus too. First of all, we're going to shout, Jesus is alive together. Here we go. Jesus is alive. That's right. And now we need to do that just like Kenzie would do it. So we need to hop and hop and hop. And then we're going to yell, Jesus is alive. Oh, it's such good news. I'm so glad that Jesus came here and he lived with us and he showed us what loving God was all about. And he showed us what our lives should look like. He died for us to take the consequences of the wrong things that we do, but he didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead, and then he went back to heaven to show us that we can be friends with God now and forever and ever and ever. It's such good news. And it's why Jesus says to follow him. Well, next week, there'll be some kids in here. It'll be one of your regular preschool teachers in here, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun together. I can't wait for you to see some of your friends next week. But until then, remember that Jesus wants you to follow him. Bye-bye, everybody.